Democrats in Washington are demanding answers to their claim that President Trump interfered in the case of Roger Stone, the president's longtime friend and ally. They say Attorney General William Barr will be asked at a House committee hearing next month if he was pressured to overrule a prosecution request to give Roger Stone a long prison sentence. Stone was convicted in the investigation of Russian election meddling. Ben Tracy's at the White House for us. Ben, the president did publicly comment on this sentencing recommendation. So what's he saying now about the claim that he interfered? Well, the president is congratulating Attorney General Barr for getting involved and pushing for this lighter sentence than the nine years that prosecutors originally recommended. Of course, this raises all sorts of questions about whether or not the Justice Department is acting on its own or if it's simply doing favors for the president. They treated Roger Stone very badly. They treated everybody very badly. In the Oval Office, the president continued to lash out at Roger Stone's prosecutors. It's a disgrace, and frankly, they ought to apologize to a lot of the people whose lives they've ruined. In November, a jury found Stone guilty of seven counts of witness tampering, lying to Congress, and obstruction. The president's comments and his attack on the judge overseeing the case drew rare rebuke from Republicans. I think this is a, a, a situation where the tweet was very problematic. I don't think the president should have tweeted about an ongoing case. But they also said they're not concerned about the Department of Justice being independent. I have a lot of confidence uh, uh, that they got it right here. The president praised Attorney General William Barr for intervening in the case. But Barr claims he did not coordinate with the White House when he overruled the prosecutors and sought a lighter sentence. Attorney General William Barr ought to be ashamed and embarrassed. Barr's actions have prompted a flood of criticism from Democrats and former Justice Department leaders. For the department to have cast its lot firmly in this way is abysmal. Barr has repeatedly been accused of working too closely with the president, including when he characterized the findings of the Mueller report before it had been released. I'm going to make the decisions based on the law and the facts. Barr dismissed the criticism in an interview with CBS News in May. I think it just goes with the territory of being attorney general in a hyperpartisan period of time. It's now up to the judge to decide how much prison time Roger Stone actually serves. President Trump, of course, could pardon him when asked whether or not he plans to do that. The president said, I don't want to say that yet. Gail. All right. Thank you very much, Ben.